and the cops just drink fluoride water. Oh, they take their kids and just shoot them up with mercury, and the kids become autistic. The cops don't care. The Saudi and CIA-supported terror army ISIS, who is trained by the U.S. military, has supposedly posted their five-year expansion plan on Twitter. The map shows the Al-Qaeda spinoff organization occupying the entire Middle East, including Israel, plus the Arabian Peninsula, North Africa, Afghanistan, Pakistan, Indonesia, and India. Wow, uh, those guys plan on wreaking a lot of havoc down the road, lots of raping and pillaging the next five years, lots of ground to cover with less than 40,000 jihadists. Now, there's no doubt that ISIS will probably never leave Iraq or even leave Syria for that matter, but I think it's safe to say that occupying the entire Middle East, now that's, that's a bit of a stretch, all right? But this is how the propaganda machine works. This is classic fear-mongering. And their intent is to keep ISIS in the headlines. This is their new boogeyman, by the way. And they are amping up the war propaganda to feed the war on terror beast. And of course, this is done through social media and stories fabricated or even sensationalized by the establishment media. Now, the group has even launched an Arabic language Twitter app called the Dawn of Glad Tidings. So I guess the terrorists are now technologically savvy as well. And as far as the ISIS five-year war plan, like I said, occupying the entire Middle East, I mean, it's not going to happen. But it does look scary on TV. And no doubt they're going to cause all kinds of trouble in Iraq. After all, Iraq was engineered to be a failed state to begin with. Since the U.S. took it over beginning in 2003 during the Iraq war, or the invasion of Iraq, or you can even go further back in time to when the establishment installed their own ruthless dictator and put Saddam Hussein in charge. But I digress. Iraq is currently a failed state with an ineffective and corrupt military that is controlled by the U.S. military. It's a black hole and unlimited cash cow for the military industrial complex. Exploited by contractors and preferred clients of the Pentagon, you know, Dick Cheney's Halliburton is a good example. And don't forget that Iraq is also a strategic place on the grand chessboard. And the U.S. military will always be in control of that region, even when they pretend like they're not. So don't believe the hype. The ISIS map on Twitter is a joke. I mean, this is just more propaganda that's created by the CIA, the United States, and NATO. Picture it as a prop in the, the ongoing effort to expand what looks like the never-ending war on terror. Now, there is a very interesting article that is posted on Infowars.com right now by William Engdahl, ISIS in Iraq, a CIA-NATO dirty war op. And it goes into the creation of ISIS, how they were trained by the CIA and U.S. Special Forces at a secret camp in Jordan in 2012. And it also goes into detail how former U.S. Department official Andrew Doran, he said that some of the ISIS warriors are now in possession of U.S. passports. ISIS is the new boogeyman. Another Frankenstein created by the CIA and trained by our U.S. military to expand the war on terror and further take away our civil liberties here at home. Get it?